I'm Vamp, and this video will act as a general introduction and walkthrough to my user interface. I aim to talk about every add-on that I use to assist me as I play, and to also give brief tutorials on the ones that I have to manually edit myself as new content arrives. To begin with, I will stress how highly I recommend building your own UI. Not only will you become more familiar with each individual add-on that you choose to use, but it will also feel extremely satisfying knowing that you've tweaked everything to your own needs. Maybe I'm in a minority here, but I find it extremely rewarding to build up a full UI one add-on at a time. Though having said that, I completely understand that you may be watching a streamer for example, and take a keen eye to a particular element of their UI and want to use it for yourself, so I will provide links in the description below for every add-on that I talk about in this video, and some profile strings where applicable. And with that out of the way, let's talk about the UI. So this is my UI whilst in combat in a raid environment, and you can see it all in action for a general overview. You'll notice a lot of the elements of the UI are centred around my character and kept in the middle section of the screen, and that is purely personal preference. I don't know if it's to do with how different people's eyes work, or their brain, or I just don't know, but some like their raid frames off to the side or in a corner, but whatever works for you, works for you. Though I will say in general it is quite important to be able to track your cooldowns and abilities relatively close to your raid frames, as that's where your eyes will be focused a lot of the time. A lot of people may feel my UI is very cluttered around where my character is, but again, for me personally it works, and this can differ from person to person. Now let's break down the UI. For my raid frames, which I feel are the most important add-on for a healer, I use Grid. For the more common elements of the UI and the style, I use Elf UI, which I then edited to my preference. For my damage and healing meters, I use Details. For the information on the encounter and timers, I use Deadly Boss Mods. The auras that I use to track my relevant abilities, buffs and cooldowns are an add-on called Tell Me When. And finally, for the tracking of raid cooldowns and throughputs, I use Exorcus Raid Tools. So let's go into detail starting with Grid. The reason I feel the raid frames are the most important feature of the UI for a healer is because of the information they show you. I mean, our job is to keep everyone alive, so we want to know how much HP everyone has, who currently has threat on enemies, who has what relevant buffs and debuffs, and so forth. Now why do I use Grid? Well, I've used Grid pretty much since it was created back in Burning Crusade, and it's always done what I've wanted it to, so it's mostly a case of if it's not broken, then why fix it? Though I know plenty of people who use a variety of raid frame add-ons, and even some who get on perfectly well with the default raid frames, so it's purely personal preference. As long as your choice of raid frames shows you the information that you require, then that's all that matters. Voodoo, which are probably the most popular raid frames right now, I would probably suggest to someone who doesn't know what frames to use to try out, but nonetheless, if you want to go old school and give Grid a go, then I won't stop you. Before I give a quick breakdown of how Grid works, I highly suggest you also pick up Grid Indicator Extra, which is a separate plugin for Grid that allows you more freedom to add buffs and debuffs to the frames, and it is absolutely vital if you play a class that monitors a number of buffs or hots, like when I'm playing my Holy Priest, but not so much in the case of a Paladin. So with that out of the way, let's open up Grid Settings here, with a forward slash Grid, and these first three tabs are purely for customising how our frames will look, so I won't go into any detail here, just fiddle with the different sizes and colours and go with what works for you. These next two tabs, Indicators and Status, are the two we're really interested in. Straight out of the box, Grid has very little to offer you in terms of the information it shows, so it is up to us to add it to our liking. In the Status tab, you can see a ton of buffs and debuffs, a number of which are there by default, and a good amount that I've added myself. The idea here is any buff or debuff that we want to display on Grid needs to go in here. As an example, let's add Bestow Faith to our Grid. That's a buff, so I'm going to add it to the buff box by simply typing the spell name. We don't need any spell IDs or stuff like that, literally just the spell's name, and you can now see it here. There's one very important option here that is usually ticked by default, but always worth checking, and that is the Show If Mine tick box. Like the wording implies, if you have it ticked, it will only display the buff if you have applied it, so you don't need to get muddled with other players of the same class. Then we're going to go to the Indicators tab, and select where we want the buff to display on our frames. We want to be using the extra icon options, and it's pretty straightforward. Extra icon left will display the buff on the left side of the frame, left 2 will display the buff next to the left one, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and put it on top right 2, which should replace it right next to Beacon. And now when we cast it, there it is. Grid is as simple as that. Sure it's a bit of work, but once you have it all set up for your class's abilities, then it's just a case of looking through the dungeon journal each time a new raid pops up, and applying the buffs and debuffs that we're interested in tracking to our frames. I usually display my buffs around the outside of the frame, 
and use the center for major debuffs. It is also important to note that by default Grid does have any debuff that you can dispel pop up in the bottom right corner of your frame as a blue, brown, purple or green square, depending on the type of debuff, which is handy for when you don't want to add absolutely every debuff in the game to your frame. Any questions on Grid I will be more than happy to answer, even though I went into a good enough detail to get you started, there are a number of things I've not covered or this video would be even longer than it already is. As a final note, there is a plugin called Grid Mana Bars if you wish to add mana bars to the frames. Moving on to the general frame of the UI, which is all the Elf UI, we have a very user-friendly interface to edit to your needs. It has a small setup initially to get you started, and then with a forward slash Elf UI, you can find everything you want. Just ask yourself what part of the UI you want to edit, and find it in the relevant tab and tinker away. Elf UI also has a forum where you can ask specific questions, and I've often found my problems answered there. If you've taken my LVI profile and want to know where I've placed everything, simply bring up the menu again with forward slash LVI and hit the toggle anchors button here and you'll see everything clearly labelled and drag it to wherever you please. Moving on to details, which as mentioned I'm using for my damage and healing meters, is incredibly useful compared to other meters that are available largely because of the amount of information you can take from it. With a simple mouse over I can see breakdowns and if I click I get an even more detailed version. Right click on what the meter is showing and I can change it to a plethora of other sources to show me just about everything I want to know, which is extremely useful when looking at what potentially caused a wipe for example. In terms of setting it up, this add-on actually has a really detailed introduction setup when you first install the add-on which is fantastic. All of these auras you see here are all because of Tell Me When. Whenever I'm explaining this add-on to someone, I like to describe it as baby's first weak auras, as for an idiot like myself, weak auras needs a bit too much brain work to get around, whereas tell me when is incredibly user friendly. Forward slash tell me when will get us started, and you can see all of my groups have opened up. I simply right click on one to access the group, if I wanted to make a new group, I'd just select the group tab and hit create up in the corner, and everything already feels very easy to edit. How we want the aura to display, for which specs and roles, how many auras in the group, etc, etc, but let's make an aura. I know we have a holy shock one there already, but let's make one in this new group, by right clicking where we want it, and we get this menu. First we need to choose the icon type, so the first question we want to ask ourselves is what is the aura for? We want to monitor the cooldown on holy shock, so that would be a spell cooldown. So what do we want to track? As we start typing holy shock here, the add-on will show us all available spells from the game's database, and we'll want to take the correct one which in this case, and in pretty much every situation, is the one at the top. And all we need to do now is tell the add-on how we want to display it. We can edit how it displays depending on range or how much mana we have, and here we decide how we want to show it. So when the spell is ready, we want it to be full colour so the opacity is set to 100% is already great. For when it's not ready, I still want to see it to be able to monitor it, but I don't want it to be as obvious, so let's slide the opacity down to 50% and we get a little preview here. Here we can add the progress wheel, like you see with all spells in the action bar, and a timer if we want to as well, so let's add both and ok it up. Forward slash tell me when to lock the auras in place, let's see what it does when we cast holy shock. Exactly what we asked it to, and that is the exact method I've used to create all of these auras so you can tell how simplistic they are, and how easily you can do them yourself with zero experience with the add-on. Finally, let's talk about the raid cooldowns displayed on the left here with Exorcist raid tools. Open up with forward slash ERT, and I should probably explain that this add-on actually serves a good number of roles other than monitoring cooldowns, such as checking if everyone in your raid has appropriate gems and enchants, and who coined what bosses etc etc, but I only use it for monitoring raid cooldowns which is right here. You can fully edit it by looking around the appearance options in the tab, and in the main spells tab you can pick which spells for the add-on to display and where you want to display them. And that's my UI in its entirety, with a bit of insight into each add-on that I use. It's very simplistic in how I've created it, as you've probably been able to tell from the brief tutorials that I just went through, but it displays all of the information that I need to get through boss encounters and to play my class to the best of its potential, which at the end of the day is the most important element of a UI. Like I explained at the start of the video, there are so many different aspects of certain add-ons and the UI in general that are all purely personal preference, so I encourage you to mess around with what you think looks good and tailor it to your own liking. The add-ons that I've mentioned in this video are all linked below along with profile strings for LVI and Tell Me When should you wish to copy those. 
In terms of being able to purely copy my UI pixel for pixel, I'll look into how to package it properly so that you can pretty much drag and drop and have it look as it does now. If any of you know how to do this, then please feel free to let me know as I did try taking my WTF and add-ons folder to a fresh account and didn't have much success replicating many of my settings. Any questions that you do have about any of the add-ons as I've not gone into too much detail here trying to keep the video short, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you when I can. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.